again and even warmer across our area today. Temperatures this afternoon well into the 80s. We should be at 78 for a high on this date, but so far our thermometer reading has climbed as high as 86 degrees. 63 was where we started this morning. No rain to measure today, and it looks as though we have the chance of a shower or storm tonight, but a better chance of more numerous showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Dry pavement as we check out the camera view along I-75, and it will stay dry at least for the next few hours. 86 our current temperature, winds out of the south at 6. Dew points now in the mid-50s, so humidity not out of control. There's a hint of humidity in the air, but it felt muggier earlier today. It looks as though that humidity will continue to increase tonight and during the day tomorrow as that front gets closer. For now, it's 87 degrees in Delphus, 87 in Finley, 86 as we look to the east in Kenton. On the satellite and radar composite, partly cloudy conditions, a mix of sun and clouds out there. It has been dry area-wide this afternoon, but there are some showers and storms lurking back to the west over portions of Indiana. Some of these will try to drift northeastward this evening, so later on, after sunset, the chance of a shower or storm, but this cold front now cutting across Minnesota and northwestern Iowa, that's going to get here during the day tomorrow into the evening, and that's when we have that better chance of more numerous showers and thunderstorms. Severe weather chances look to be generally low, but still, there's the risk that any thunderstorms that do develop tomorrow could have some gusty winds. There's an isolated damaging wind risk with any of these thunderstorms. So check with us during the day tomorrow. Again, one or two of those storms could pack a punch briefly before that front pushes away later tomorrow evening. Skycast looks like this. This evening, partly cloudy. By 9 p.m., the chance of a shower or storm over southern sections of our area. Again, during the night, Perhaps a shower or storm briefly, but much of the time looks rain-free. During the day tomorrow, with that front moving in, showers and thunderstorms a pretty good bet for at least part of the day. The best chance of this in the afternoon and early evening. There's 3 p.m., some of that activity along I-75, but by 8 or 9 p.m., most of those showers and storms push away to the east, along with the front responsible for them. By Thursday, sunshine comes back, mixing with some fair weather clouds. Can't rule out a sprinkle, but most of Thursday looks dry. Sun and clouds cooler for Friday. The chance of a stray shower here, but also most of our Friday at this point doesn't look to feature rainfall. Temperatures this evening staying warm. 10 p.m., 77 for Paulding, 76 degrees Van Wert. Late tonight, we only fall back to near 70 for a low, so it's going to stay muggy even through the second part of tonight. Tomorrow, temperatures climbing back into the upper 70s to lower 80s for highs. It looks to me a little bit cooler for Thursday, upper 70s for most of us, but keep in mind humidity levels will be noticeably lower by then. Again for tonight, partly cloudy and isolated shower storm 69. Scattered showers and storms tomorrow, especially afternoon and evening, 80 for the high. Seven-day storm authority forecast on Thursday, partly sunny, nice, 78. Cooler for Friday, 73, maybe a stray shower most of the day dry. For the weekend, partly cloudy, just the chance of a passing shower. Jeff.